Hello Valheimers, hello YouTubers, welcome back, Dredus here. So you can see here I'm hanging out with Thorbjorn out on top of my tower. So in the video making the mage tower, I made this huge box. You can see here the, the roof has kind of a mist to it. It's kind of a, a whitish tinge. Oh, I'll show you up here, you can see it better. So that's how high up we are. Uh, the floor, I'll show you like the strength of the iron, but you can see this here, everything's green. So I could kind of build like a wood structure up here if I wanted to, but I am plenty high up and let's do a tour. So you can see you've got the stairs coming down and this is Dredus's bedroom. So I've marked off each room. So this is the bedroom. You can see it's uh, too high. It has a door here, which is basically a jumping door to jump out uh, if you have the feather fall cape. Then we go down to the next room. So I have three characters. I have Dredus, I have Astrid, and I have Winter Knight. So, excuse me, Theorbjorn. Orbjorn. And then this is Winter Knight's room. So those are the three characters' rooms, which are basically the top three floors. And then we go down to the next floor. So this floor is going to be the boss portal's room. So all the boss's portals will be in this room. So that's going to be part of the video, is me basically decorating these rooms and setting them up properly. So this is the portal farm. So all the portals that will be in here are going to be for farming. And the reason for that is because the next floor is going to be the storage floor. So this is where all the black metal chests will be. And so then I guess you're wondering about the next floor, which is the top of the table. So let's take a quick look at this. So you can see this uh, huge table. I started making it come out here. So this is where the repair tables are going to be. So I'm going to build off of here and I'll just show you underneath. You can see that there's like iron beams under here holding the, the structure out, which means I can build out on that floor as far out as I need to. Same with all the floor, like same with all the rooms it, up here, I can go and build out and add more space onto each floor if I want to. I'm just going to use this copper exterior wall as the as the exterior wall for the whole building. So if the if I go and I build out another room off of the side of the the structure here, then I'm going to continue using the copper. So it's obviously a really strong tower and allows me to do a lot of things as far as exterior embellishments and such. And so what am I going to do with the rest of this space? So this room is going to become a chicken coop. Listen, someone's going to get hurt. Where are they? Oh, over there. <laughs> hey! Good luck fighting them now. Oh look, and there's another one over there.
this area over here you can see that it's the only place that these guys can get close right like these giants the only place that they get close is right here this is going to be my ballista location <laughs> So you can see these walls do really good at keeping them back, right? And whatever, they're preoccupied, I don't care. So I'll do a quick tour of the wall. There's my bubble lux. Hey bubble lux. So I've got the lower field and the upper field. And then to defend the upper field, I have this mini wall, which could probably be made bigger. But you can see like the wall goes all the way around the base in this manner. And then there's the ones that spawn in the base, which is fine. I don't mind the ones that spawn in the base because then I can just harvest them. The Lux do a pretty good job of just clearing all of them out. You get like random guys like this guy that just yeah, see, he just fell in. But all in all, they stay around here, and I can grab deer meat. As long as they're out far enough that they can kill some deer, and then you have some wolves around, they'll feed the wolves, right? I also have some chickens around. There's one now. There's a chicken here. He's just running around being a chicken. So yeah. Oh, they ruined my blueberry bush. Okay, get off. Go. Get ruined my blueberry bush why would you need to come up here I've had that my entire game now it's gone forever I mean I don't eat blueberries so it's no big deal so what do you think Thorbjorn how should we start this I guess we could go floor by floor when I come in here Close the door and I leave Thorbjorn behind. You hear that music? So because my room's going upstairs on day 574 this here is probably a good place for a pub, don't you think? Little bar. It's got the music got the ambiance and then there's the kitchen what am I doing with the kitchen so this old room right here it has been a few different things and I think I'm gonna convert it into the kitchen yeah see it's the kitchen so we've got the bees here I'm going to have the the chickens nearby, the lux, the wolves, everything's right here. Go out this door, you've got some fields, all the fields of uh, turnips and carrots and onions are out here. You go up here. Oh wait, oh, it's a chicken. And you run up here, and we will be at the inventory. So I think it's going to be a good flow. This is not far, right? Like, I can easily just grab whatever foods I have collected. Then run over here, run over here, and just jump down and into the kitchen. So it'll be a little closer, a bigger room. So I like the storage room, but I feel like it could be bigger. 
I can go and build this wall out and I want to add more room all around here I figure then that makes this space more usable as far as storage so I'm gonna actually extend this wall out all right so the first floor is done you can see how it kind of sticks out here so it kind of sticks out a little bit and I'll show you the room itself all right so here's the actual room so this is the part that sticks out right here and you can see I've got a box full of resin gray dwarf eyes kitchen material metal and seeds and then over here I've got meadows and then this one's black forest all right so I ended up uh, adding the whole bottom section here so if you come up here you can go in here to find the artisan table and also the rune table and I moved the Galder table over to here and this room is pretty much complete so let's do the tour you can see all the different trophies and the around all the chests so this is the the treasure room and the next room is going to be the portal farm hello how's everybody doing okay it says they sought you out but i don't know who they are <gasps> Is that what I think it is? Wow. I'm actually getting attacked by the Queen's minions. I need some food. Okay, so they sought me out. Let's see what they did. As far as my defenses are concerned. Where are they? Oh, I don't know what that was. Well, there's a tick. I see a tick. Hey! search is over oh it's because they found me you see great now the queen knows where I am It would kind of break up that area. I don't know what I'm going to use it for though. That's okay. I'll figure it out. Alright, so the farm room is ready. So you can see here I ended up bumping this room out a little bit over here. These are the, the pocket portal 1, 2, and 3. And uh, here are the Mistland portals. So I don't have a lot of portals, but I've got enough. So this floor is just above the storage room. So these are, so any portal here, they're going to have like, so if I have any mist land farms or fishing areas or just an area that I know I can farm, then the portals will end up here. And then of course I have Ekathir, Elder, Bone Mass, Motor, Yagleth, and the Queen all on this floor. And the last thing that I want to show in this video is the chicken coop. So as you can see, 
I have all kinds of eggs and seeds and the coops all closed off now all the portals have been moved upstairs and that's it there it is the mage tower you can see how it kind of steps out here I like that we've gotten halfway up so the last three floors plus the the top floor and then I still have to do something with this main room and the kitchen so so far I'm doing a good job make sure you like and subscribe and join me again to see mage tower 3 so enjoy playing Valheim and remember to bubble your lux all right bubble boys let's go <laughs> here comes the demolition team What's happening? <laughs> oh man. This group, I'm invincible. Oh, did you see that? Oh yeah. Hear that, Amira? An ache? Just had puppies. Well, that changes things. 